you guys so video was filmed without a head you guys are just going to have to uh, deal with it and hopefully uh, the, the take home message is um, good enough to the point where it isn't, it isn't too much of a distraction but this is what my head looks like in case you guys are wondering it was indeed me same old school iron shirt and as you can tell by now I am definitely you know I have that I've been dieting for a while look in my face um, yeah, for a minute there, it looks okay. I look about, you know, five, seven years younger, and then it gets to the point where, um, yeah, it just, it, it looks like this. All right, so my apologies, guys. I'm my own camera guy. I just kind of threw a video together, and hopefully, again, it helps someone out there. So um, here we go. Hopefully the first of many to come in this just random um, series about many things. All right, guys, and today we're going to go over, well, first of all, let me give you a brief introduction in, in what I'm doing. Um, so quite often, you know, I'll get, I'll get this, this inspiration, this idea in my head, and I don't do anything with it. I'm like, you know, I, I tell myself I'm going to go ahead and, and make a video about this because I think it's important to say or uh, I think it can, it can help someone. Um, and often, you know, what ends up happening is I either lose the inspiration or I lose my train of thought. So what uh, I decided to do today, and I, I'm going to do from now on when the time is, is appropriate, I'm basically going to just uh, just get on the soapbox and, 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 and talk. Um, and we're going to go over a lot of things. But uh, today's topic was, and this was inspired by a lot of good dialogue that I had with a lot of my athletes, primarily younger athletes, this this past week and the the main topic or a repeating topic was the whole balancing everything outside of your contest prep so these are athletes that are getting ready for contest prep and um, you know again bodybuilding in general especially when you, you f first get rolling with it and and you know you realize just how much goes into it inside and, and outside of the gym and in order to maximize yourself you know, it, it can be really hard to, 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 to balance. You know, I recall other sports I did. You went to practice, worked your butt off, um, and then you found yourself at, at the pizza place with, uh, you know, your, your, your friends or, or and, and family. And, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, you know, sometimes there's, uh, there's just so many things that, that go into being, I guess, a, a someone who's who's maybe not a competitive physique athlete but trying to maximize themselves and and it can be overwhelming it can be overwhelming to make that work with everything else um, and it gets even more difficult when you have a competitive deadline when you decide to compete as a bodybuilder and I think quite often way too often if anything I get branded as like that Alberto dude has it under control he is, uh, and, and it most likely he's always been that way. He just, uh, you know, starts his contest prep, and you know, he's he's um, little, nothing really changes. Uh, when it's it's the furthest thing from the truth. There's still a lot of things when it comes to you know contest prepping, and even this contest prep that I'm not exactly happy with, and I need to work on, and I need to work on not necessarily not not just when it comes to you know my approach to my actual bodybuilding. You know, things that are wrong within you know, my programming, my nutrition, things like that. That's that's always something that we're working on, but things uh, outside of the gym as well, you know, making this work with my real world because, you know, I, I don't live in a bubble. And, um, of course, it's gotten better over the years. And, you know, if I take you guys back to my first contest season, this was in 2007, it was a complete disaster. It was a complete disaster, and the prep itself was very ineffective. And, you know, it came at the cost of many other things outside of, uh, of, of, you know, uh, the way my body looked, you know, I, I, I did the cowardly thing by, you know, maybe not keeping up with a lot of my friends, and if anything, I avoided social situations, and, uh, you know, when it came to, to my responsibilities at, at work or as a student, I kind of slacked on those, and others had to pick up the slack for me, so I did a lot of things wrong, and, um, you know, that, that contest prep, my first contest prep left me with a bitter taste in my mouth, to, to the point where um, I decided to compete the very next year, and I knew that you know back-to-back -back seasons maybe wasn't always the best thing, especially at that point where I was I was a younger bodybuilder. Um, but I decided to do it anyways, simply because I needed to redeem myself. I needed to redeem myself as a bodybuilder. But something that you guys don't know, or people who I have talked to, 
uh, I've spoken with about how awful my first season was. Uh, I wanted to redeem myself in, in terms of how I handled myself outside of everything that went into my contest prep. And those were my intentions. You know, I, I, I decided to compete the very next year. And what ends up happening is that, you know, at a certain point, I was doing pretty well, but I, I let the contest prep get, get the best of me. And, um, and yeah, you know, I started to slip back into my old habits, you know, the, the stuff that was easier to, 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 to fall into. Uh, I was doing a sensational job keeping up with my prep, and I was actually doing really well. I think it was uh, up until that point, really the, the, the best I had ever looked as, as a bodybuilder. And, and I think primarily because I had uh, my, my, uh, my uh, good friend and coach at the time, Lane Norton, uh, mentor me through my first prep and, and stop me from being my own worst enemy when it came to the contest prep. But outside of the gym, I was a little lost at times. And um, yeah, you know, not exactly proud of that. And I think the worst part is that many and many times during that contest prep, where I was supposed to redeem myself and be balanced, um, you know, I, I knew what I was doing. I knew that, eh, dude, you're starting to slip into those old habits, but I did it anyways. And, um, you know, I recall I get to my first show, and for those of you who haven't competed, usually you look around and everyone looks marvelous to you. You can't really see what you look like. And I, I recall telling myself, dude, you're about to get your ass handed to you, and for what? For what? You, you, you completely, uh, obviously you're about to lose here, so, you know, your contest prep was a waste. And um, goes to show you where I was. And then, not only that, but you let an ineffective contest prep, or a contest prep that wasn't good enough for it to, 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 to compete at the level you wanted to compete at, ruin things outside of the gym. And, you know, my heart sank, and at that point, I'm like, you know, I, I just, I don't even know if I can do this bodybuilding thing anymore. I don't think I was cut out for it, you know, both as a bodybuilder and as, you know, just a, a responsible adult at that point. Um, and anyhow, so the, the day goes on, I get up on stage, I end up winning the whole show. And this ended up being, uh, I get my first, my first overall, uh, so I won my division, I won the overall and, and my first, uh, my first pro card of, of many that year. Um, I was very happy, very relieved that I did well, but at the same time, I never forgot that, that, that feeling, that sick feeling inside where, you know, you let bodybuilding beat you, you know, um, you let your contest prep get the best of you again, and uh, I recall from that point on, I, I, I not, not only improved as a bodybuilder, I kept on getting better and better throughout the whole season, but I also started to, I, I, I really, you know, I got my act together outside of the gym, um, and ever since that point, a big part of uh, more than ever, and more than just saying I'm going to do it, uh, more than ever to me a successful prep uh, again because this 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 is is sport if, if you want to call it that I think it is uh, might be a little biased but this sport again unlike other sports it's the the work is not done when you know we're done with the, with the training and you guys all understand and know this uh, it continues outside of the gym you know and I think the first thing we think of is nutrition but no there's a lot of other things I think a big part of it is you know how you are able to, to handle yourself when it comes to all your other responsibilities. So from that point on, I just, I, I wouldn't say I, I was perfect, but I was better. And just how, you know, I'm trying to find, you know, perhaps, you know, the, the perfect amount of, uh, I don't know, uh, caloric intake uh, when I'm dieting or, or the ratios that just make more sense or a training program that uh, is, is more effective for me. Uh, the same kind of goes with how I approach my stuff outside of the gym. And even this contest prep, you know, it's still not perfect, but it's always getting better. And I, I like to think that just how my physique has made strides over the years, so has everything else outside of, uh, of the gym. Um, so, uh, again, I think the, the take-home message here, if, if there is one, I'm kind of all over the place, is that, yeah, I think a contest prep shouldn't be just about how effective your contest prep is in terms of the changes you've made in your physique, how much more efficiently... Uh, you've gotten yourself in, into contest shape. Was your shape, your contest conditioning better than last time? Were you able to, you know, maintain performance and, 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 and muscle better? Uh, but how, how well were you able to maintain yourself outside of the gym? So, yeah, yeah.
kind of random, and I, and I hope it doesn't sound too preachy, uh, but I decided to throw it out there, see what kind of response I get, and uh, if it, it talks to someone, someone who's uh, out there in, in the midst of this, this tug of war right now, and you know, that can very well be the case since we are kind of like in the meat and potatoes of the contest season, then it was worth making this video. So I'm going to put this up, and then I think from time to time when I get this impulse thought in my mind, um, I'm going to go ahead and and, uh, and just film it, throw it up there, and um, hopefully you know, it, it's of use to someone. So I'll leave it there. Um, and you know what? Speaking of things I need to improve on when it comes to my act outside of the gym, I think my next contest uh, prep uh, video update is probably going to revolve around that very topic quite a bit. So I'll leave it there. Uh, again, thank you guys for the support. Thank you if you made it this far, and um, hopefully it helped you out.